Hi, this is Gregory Abston from the Laser Training Institute of Professional Medical Education Association. We're going to take a quick look at actual clinical videos that show the right and wrong way to vaporize and ablate tissue, and we'll use cervical ablation in this example. Remember that this short video is simply to show examples and not to be relied upon without using our in-person or online training programs on medical laser use and applications. For the sake of comparison, I've now set it a 30 watts continuous wave. Here you can see the laser being used with an appropriate wide beam geometry, which is giving approximately 1200 watts per centimeter squared with a spot size of around about 2 millimeters. This will be a laser power which most of us will have access to in office or operating room setting. However, we can see, particularly in the areas where there is a little bleeding, some carbon formation, and we can also see quite clearly the yellow coagulative effect of the underlying tissues due to the thermal conduction that occurs in the continuous wave. I've now set the laser in its ultrapulse mode, and we have chosen an average power of 33 watts, which gives us this larger spot size of approximately 3 millimeters. With such a large spot, we can see very effective and quick ablation. But more importantly, as you look in the base of the laser impact site, you can see the whitish, waterlogged, normal stroma of the cervix as the tissue is destroyed with very minimal thermal conduction. Now we'll see how not to ablate tissue. Again, this is a cervix, but the power is set way too low for the spot size used probably around 10 watts or less. The charring is obvious, and this allows significant heat to conduct deeper into tissues, causing more underlying damage. If you use improper settings like this on skin, this is what you get. Third degree burns and resulting keloid scarring. And it's caused primarily by using too low of power settings, thinking falsely that they must be safer than higher settings. Wrong. Your next step is to look at our short inanimate lab video showing how to actually set the spot size correctly with the chosen power of the laser to achieve clean vaporization and ablation of tissue. It's demonstrated with a CO2 laser here, but the principles apply to many other lasers as well.